Welcome to Lines to Go installation videos. Today we will be removing and installing transmission cooler lines on a 2009 Dodge Charger using Lines to Go part number TCL 174 SS. While this particular installation is being performed on a 2009 Charger, this set of lines will also fit the following year, make, and models as shown on your screen now. Lines to go lines are made using original equipment and forms and fittings that are CNC bent for an easy and precise installation. We have also upgraded to stainless steel braided Teflon hoses for rust protection and to prevent surface fouling. These have an unlimited shelf life and anti-static PTFE liner. This set of lines to go lines are made using 304L stainless steel for rust resistance that exceeds OEM standards. Tech tip. Disconnect the battery before working on a vehicle to reduce the risk of shorting out the battery on tools or lines. Lines to go lines are made with a sectional design for easier installation. We also use color coded unions on our sectioned lines. Just match the colors of the connections. This vehicle does not come equipped with a transmission dipstick. To check the transmission fluid level, you will either need to purchase one from the dealer or have a mechanic check the fluid level. Tools required. 10mm and 13mm wrenches, 7mm, 10mm, 13mm and 21mm sockets and ratchet, flat blade screwdriver, pliers, lines to go disconnect tool part number 5834-01, drain pan, jack and jack stands. The level of difficulty for this installation is considered to be easy. Start by disconnecting the negative battery terminal using a 10mm socket or wrench. The battery is located on the passenger side of the trunk underneath the carpet beside the spare tire. At the engine, remove the intake air temperature sensor electrical connector located in the intake air tube. Use a flat blade screwdriver to loosen the clamp that secures the intake air tube to the throttle body. Remove the intake air tube from the throttle body. Use a 10 mm socket to remove the bolt that secures the air filter housing. Disconnect the PCV tube that goes to the driver's side valve cover and remove the intake air tube and air filter housing from the vehicle. Raise and support the vehicle and use a 21 mm socket to remove both front wheels from the vehicle. Underneath the vehicle, use a 10 mm socket to remove the four bolts that secure the plastic shield underneath the engine and remove it from the vehicle. Use a flat blade screwdriver to remove the three plastic push clips at the front of both front wheel wells. Next, use a 7mm socket to remove the screws at the bottom of the front bumper that secures the lower splash guard to the bumper. Remove the splash guard from the vehicle. Underneath the air conditioning compressor, use a 13mm socket or wrench to remove the bolt that secures the metal line bracket. At the driver's side of the transmission, remove the plastic rings from the quick connection fittings. Use the lines to go disconnect tool, part number 5834-01 to remove the two transmission line connections. At the front of the vehicle, on the driver's side top of the radiator, you will be able to access the front quick connect fitting through the hole behind the driver's side headlight. For a little extra visibility, you can remove the plastic cover at the driver's side top of the radiator. Use a flat blade screwdriver to remove the plastic push clip and reposition the plastic air deflector.
Remove the plastic rings from the connections and disconnect the two lines using the Lines to Go Disconnect tool. If your quick connections are very rusted and you need even more access, you will need to remove the front bumper from the vehicle. However, this should not be required for most installations. Use a pair of pliers to remove the metal bracket from the front of the transmission lines. Use a flat blade screwdriver to remove the plastic clip at the rear of the lines. Remove the lines from the rear starting with the line that connects to the lower quick connect fitting in the transmission. To begin the installation of your new Lines to Go stainless steel transmission lines, start by installing the inlet line labeled 174A into position, routing it from the rear. You will have to rotate the line while installing to route it into position. Next, install the Lines to Go outlet transmission line labeled 174B into position. With the two lines in position in the vehicle, Connect the line labeled A into the top quick connect fitting at the transmission and the line labeled B into the lower connection. Make sure the lines are fully seated. Replace the plastic locking rings over the fittings. Replace the metal clip at the front of the lines and replace the bolt that secures it using a 13mm socket or wrench. Replace the plastic clip at the rear of the lines. At the front of the vehicle, connect the front of the line labeled 174A into the lower quick connect fitting in the cooler. Connect the front of the line labeled 174B into the top quick connect fitting. Make sure the lines are securely connected and replace the plastic locking clips. Next, replace the plastic air deflector back into position and secure it using the plastic push clip. Replace the upper plastic cover into position. Next, replace the plastic splash guard underneath the front bumper and secure the screws using a 7mm socket. Replace the plastic push clips at the front of both front wheel wells. Next, replace the lower plastic cover below the engine and secure it using a 10mm socket. Next, replace both front wheels and torque to your manufacturer's recommended specification using a 21mm socket. Replace the intake air tube and air filter housing into position. Connect the PCV tube at the driver's side valve cover. 
Secure the air filter housing using a 10 millimeter socket. Replace the intake air temperature sensor electrical connector and tighten the clamp that secures the intake air tube to the throttle body using a flat blade screwdriver. Reconnect the negative battery terminal and secure it using a 10 millimeter wrench. With the vehicle running in park on a flat level surface, check the transmission fluid level. Top the fluid up as required. Note, this vehicle does not come with a transmission fluid dipstick. To check your fluid level, you will either need to purchase a dipstick from the dealer or have a certified mechanic check the level. This concludes the installation of stainless steel transmission cooler lines on a 2009 Dodge Charger using lines to go part number TCL-174-SS. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or would like to purchase the lines you saw today, please call us at 1-855-781-5992, email us at info at linestogo.com, or check out our website link below. And don't forget to take advantage of our free two-day shipping. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button below and we will see you on our next video.